Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we will learn how to create a modern website design using HTML and CSS. As you can see on my computer screen, here I have this website header section with navigation bar and in this navigation bar you can see one logo and some menu links. Then we have the title, description and some buttons. In the right side you can see this image and in the background you can see the linear gradient color. We will create this website header section using HTML and CSS step by step so keep watching this video till the end. Here I have this folder. In this folder you can see one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images and in this one I have some images and icons that I will be using on this website. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now we will open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file where I have added some CSS properties like margin padding, font family and box sizing. These CSS properties are applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file I have added this title and this link tag. This link tag will connect the HTML and CSS file because I have added style.css file name here. Now we will add the code within this body tag that will be displayed on our web page. So here we will create one div with the class name hero. Next we have to add the CSS for this class name. Write this class name here in the CSS file and here we will add some CSS properties. Here I have added the width and min height then I have added the background and in this background I have added linear gradient color. Then we have the color that will be the text color and then added some padding that will be space inside the div. Then we have the position relative. After adding this let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this gradient color on this web page. Let me close this browser and I will open it with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page again but the URL has been changed. Now let's come back and within this div we will create one navbar. So let's add the nav tag and within this nav there will be one image. So write img tag file path of the image. It is logo.png. After that we will create list. So we will add the ulli and a tag so that it will be a link. And within this a tag we will add the link text that will be the menu text. So we have added three links services products and contact us. After this ul we will add another link in a tag. And here we will add the text partnership program. After adding this let's come back to the website and you can see this logo and these links here. Next we have to add the CSS so just come back and here we will add nav. We have added the position fixed top 0 left 0 and width 100% so it will be at the top and the width will be 100%. Then we have added padding that will add some space and here we have added display flex align item center so that the logo and menu text will be side by side and here I have added z index 10. After adding this you can see the logo here and in the right side you can see these links. Next we have to add the size for this logo and then we have to change the color of these uh, menu links and we have to change the position also. So let's come back. In this nav we have img for the logo. So let's add the width. So the logo size is perfect. Now just come back. Here we will add nav ul. In this one we will add flex 1. So it will use the all available space text align will be center. Now you can see these three menu links here and one menu in the right side. Let's come back and copy this one. Here we will add li. 
for all the list we will add list style none then display will be inline block and padding that will be space after that we have to change the color of the menu links so here we will add nav and a tag so for all the a tags we will add text decoration none and color it will be white now you can see this navigation bar is looking good with the logo and menu links next we have to add some title description and buttons so let's come back and after this nav here we will add another div with the class name text box within this div we will add the title in h1 then we will add text in p tag and after that we will add buttons so we have added two buttons after adding this let's come back you can see these text and logo are overlapping each other so let's come back here we will copy this class name text box write it here so for this text box we will add a space from the top so let me add margin top then we will add max width so it is here next we have to increase the size for this text let's come back here we will add text box h1 so for this h1 we will add the font size then line height and font weight will be 500 and we will add the margin at the bottom we have to change the line after this creative so let's come back and here after this creative we will add br so it is here next we will add the line height between these paragraph text so let's come back here we will add text box p line height it will be 28 pixel next we will add the css for these buttons so let me come back and here we will add the text box and button in this button i have added the padding that will be space so 20 pixel space from top and bottom and 40 from left and right then we have the white background and border outline zero then i have added the space from the top that is margin top and space from the right side margin right 10 pixel then border radius so that the sides will be round we have changed the font weight and cursor pointer after that you can see this button looks good now we will add the different background color in the second button for that let's come back copy this one and at the end we will add last child so for this last child we will change the background then we will change the text color so we will add color white so the second button is also looking good next we have to add one image in the right side so let me come back and uh, after this text box here we will add one img write the file path images slash image.png and here we will add the class name feature image and next we will add the css for this featured image so write this class name here in the css file and here we have to change the width so let me add the width of 400 pixel so it is here at the bottom so next we have to change its position so let's come back here we will add position absolute then right it will be 
फिफ्टीन परसेंट एंड देन टॉप एटीन परसेंट लेट्स एड दिस जेड इंडेक्स टू एंड नाउ यू कैन सी इट इज हेयर नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू चेंज द रेडियस फ्रॉम द टॉप सो लेट्स कम बैक हेयर वी विल एड बॉर्डर टॉप राइट रेडियस 200 pixel and border top left radius 200 pixel so you can see this image looks good next we have to add one background colored in the right side and there will be one text in that box so let's come back and uh, here after this image we will add one div with the class name sidebar let's copy this class name sidebar write it here and for this sidebar we will add position absolute top right zero so it will be in the top right side then width 32% and height 100% then we have added the linear gradient color in the background and z index 1 so you can see this color in the right side next we have to add one text inside this box so let's come back and uh, within this sidebar let's add one a tag and in this a tag we will add the text and with this text there will be one arrow icon so we will add the img tag file path of the image it is images/arrow.png after adding this you can see this text here at the top above this image and this arrow icon so let's come back come to the css file here we will add dot sidebar a we will change the color it will be white then we will add the text decoration none display will be flex and uh, align items center after that we will add font size so the font size is 18 pixel next we have to change the size of the icon and we have to rotate the icon so here we will add img tag then height so the height will be 30 pixel and margin from the left side it will be 20 pixel next we have to rotate this icon so we will add transform rotate rotate by minus 90 degree after adding this you can see this text our recent projects and this arrow icon next we have to rotate this complete text and we have to change the position of this text so let's come back to change the position in this sidebar we will add display flex align items center and justify content flex end after adding this you can see this text here our recent projects now just rotate this text with the icon so let's come back and here we have the a tag so in this a we will add transform rotate 90 degree that's it so you can see the rotated text here with the icon So finally we have completed this modern website header using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials thank you so much for watching this video